Hey guys, it's Gage here, and I know I normally don't upload videos like this, but I want to try something new, so tell me what you think. And in today's video, I'm going to be ranking every single FNAF World character based on how good or how useful they can be. So, without further ado, let, let's just jump right into it. Uh, so first up, we got Freddy. Uh, Freddy, I think Freddy is one of the more better characters out of the first eight. He's not great, but... I'm pretty sure him and Toy Chica are the only two that can set up Earth Day. Like the plus, plus, uh, plus one to all your stats, attack, defense, and speed. I'm pretty sure Toy Bonnie and Toy Mang uh, Toy. I'm pretty sure Toy Bonnie and Mangle can do it with Prize Ball, but I could be wrong. Uh, Freddy, Freddy, I'm gonna put him in C, uh, because a couple of different factors. Mike Toss and Pizza Wheel are obviously not that great attacks. Um, well, actually, I'm going to put him in B, just because Pizza Wheel, especially with the strength boost, can be very good, especially early game. So he's not awful. It's just that he's the first guy. He's not that great. Uh, next up, we got Bonnie. Honestly, Bonnie's probably one of the best first characters. Bash Jam hits so hard with the strength boost. Like, if you, especially early on when all the enemies are obviously weak, it's nice to have a character that can hit all enemies, which is why Freddy is in B tier. Uh, the only reason Bonnie is above Freddy is just because Bonnie has a healing move. And next up, we got Chica, which, y'all, I gotta put her down in D tier. The only redeeming quality is that Cupcake is a good healing move. It's just that her other moves really suck. Par Party Favors is awful. And Regen Song, in my opinion, is the worst move in the entire game. Uh, now we got Foxy. Who I'm going to put an A tier along with Bonnie. Uh, Hot Cheese and Jump Scare are also relatively, relatively good. But uh, I feel like his attack is kind of like how freddy's is except hook is a lot better than uh my toss in my opinion all right now we're on to the toy animatronics toy bonnie i'm gonna put him in b tier just because bash jam and uh prize ball are not bad uh it's just that his third attack is munchies which are not great especially early game well they're not like terrible but i feel like there's better options so it, it, he's he's a mid character. Prize ball is what kind of carries him. Uh, Toy Chica, I'm gonna put an A tier, uh, because it's a mix of Chica and Freddy. So you might think it's like in C, but honestly, Toy Chica with Cupcake and Birthday is not terrible, and it also she also has Water Hose, which is a relatively good move, especially when you just want to take some enemies out quickly. Uh, next up. Uh, y yeah, Toy Freddy's awful. He is the worst of the starter, uh, characters. Uh, a couple reasons. One, Mike Toss isn't bad, but he has Toy Chica's bad party favors attack. But what also makes him very bad is his third attack, which is Speed Song. Um, especially since you can get the endless speed chip early on in FNAF World. Like, you can get it really early, like in the second area of the game. Uh, Mangle, yeah, so Toy Freddy, not that great of a character, but, you know, they're not all going to be good. Mangle, oh gosh, Mangle, I think I'm going to put be our first C tier. Um, it has, she has Foxy's good hook attack and Toy Bonnie's prize ball, but just like with, um, Freddy, her third attack is not that great, which is Popper's. Which, for those of you who don't know, poppers, you have to set up, like, two or three layers, and then they'll explode to do, like, a massive amount of damage. Uh, but if Mangle goes down, then you, th then the poppers won't go off. Like, if you set up one layer and Mangle goes down, and you don't have gift boxes, you're kind of screwed. Alright, next up, we got, I'm gonna do Balloon Boy, and honestly, I'm gonna do these two separately. So, I was going to do them together, but I decided separately since I honestly feel like they're ranked differently. Uh, Balloon Boy, 
honestly C tier. Uh, he has hot cheese and munchies, which aren't, like I said, they're not god awful, but they're not like good either. But he also has balloons, which is not that good of an attack. So, like, you know, now, now we have, so yeah, Balloon Boy, not that great of a character. It could be useful early on, especially with hot cheese, but in the late game, he just falls off so hard. But next up, we've got JJ. And this might shock some people. JJ is going in S, uh, A tier, not S tier. S tier, y'all know who's going to go in S tier. Um, JJ is the first character in the entire game to have the unscrew attack, which just like with Water Hose can one-shot the enemy under certain conditions. Unscrew has a 25% chance to kill the enemy, and that also, I pretty, I'm pretty sure Unscrew can work on bosses. I could be wrong, but I've seen people use Unscrew on bosses. So yeah, JJ, uh, her other attacks are pretty mid, like balloons and poppers, if I recall, but Unscrew, like if you get an Unscrew off on a tough enemy, it works on all enemies, which is really useful. There's no restrictions. All right, well, I think like the, the Chica's Magic Rainbow, you can't use Unscrew on, so that that's something to take into account. All right, now we got the Phantoms, the first five, and honestly, this is this is a uh, this is gonna be a harsh ranking. Phantom Freddy is C tier. He is the only character in the entire game that cannot induce damage. Like he only has Gloom Song, Sludge, and Rainy Day, and that is it. Uh, just because like they're not like awful. Uh, Phantom Chica is going in. Yeah, Phantom Freddy only has the three status moves. Uh, and since they actually help early on if you're dealing with a tough boss, he's not use useless, but he's so close to being useless. Uh, Phantom Chica... Uh, you know what? Phantom Chica and Phantom Foxy are both going to go up here uh, just because they're in the same case as JJ, except, they, yeah, they both have Unscrew, and they can be found early on, so they're really useful. Uh, Phantom Balloon Boy... I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put him in C as well. He's like Phantom Freddy, except minus uh sludge, I believe it's called. He can t uh, poison the enemy, which isn't actually that useful. So you know, uh, Phantom Angle is gonna go in B tier just because it is the first character to have Pizza Wheel Two, which is not a terrible attack in the slightest. Uh, it could be if you find it early on, it could be very useful. Because it can do a lot of damage with Pizza Wheel, too. Uh, next up, we got our first S tier. Withered Bonnie, its two main attacks are I-Beam and Pizza Wheel, which aren't that good. I-Beam can do, like, a 1,000 damage, which is useful, but that's, like, a rare chance. But its third attack is Unscrew 2, which, in my opinion, is one of the best moves in the entire game. Has a 50% chance to kill the enemy which is very useful if you're dealing with a very tough enemy. And it, along with the other character that has Unscrew 2, are just so useful, especially if you want to take it to, like, a boss fight. It has a chance to one-shot a boss. Uh, next up, we got Withered Chica. Uh, I'm going to put her in C. Uh, B tier, not C. Uh, just because Prize Ball 2 is relatively useful, and you can find her, I'm pretty sure, in the th third area of the game game i could be wrong but she's not terrible uh withered freddy honestly not that great has a skate key but since it's like you know what just because it has a skate key i'm gonna put him in b because the skate key could be useful it's just that like it just like with all the other oko moves it's really just a gamble uh all right so yeah uh b character could be useful uh, his other attacks are Mike Toss and Gloom Song, which aren't terrible, especially in the early game. But late game, you really don't want to be using him over other upcoming characters. Uh, next up, we got Withered Foxy. He's going to go in uh, A tier uh, for a couple reasons. One, he has Foxy's powerful hook, which is, you know, decent. Uh, Rainy Day, but he, he's also the first character to have Hot Cheese 2, which is a really good Hot Cheese attack. Not, it could be useful in the late game, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. 
And like I said, rainy day to lower the enemy's defense could pair well if you have like the endless strength. Uh, Shadow Freddy. Oh wait, I said that Phantom Freddy was the only one to be able to not inflict damage. I, I meant that Phantom Freddy is the only one that can't kill any enemies. Shadow Freddy is gonna go in A tier. Uh, his entire move set is just unscrew, escape key, and water hose. So yeah, it, it's just like an auto kill machine. Like, if it doesn't kill, it can't do anything else. Uh, so, yeah, A tier. Having two auto KO moves, like auto kill moves, are really cool. Um, but it's like, it doesn't really help in bosses. Since Unscrew, like I said, can kill bosses, it's just very rare that it does, I believe. So, you're off just better doing a lot of damage. All right, next up, we got the puppet. The puppet, like with uh, Withered Chica, is going to go in B tier. Uh, Prize Ball 2 is very useful in the mid to late game. Probably not so much the late game, but it, it's not terrible. Esca it also has Escape Key, which, like I mentioned with these two, is could be useful on multiple enemies. Uh, next, we got the final Phantom character, which Phantom Marionette, I'm going to put... I'm gonna put up an A tier, honestly. Um, it has hot cheese too, but just like with Foxy, it's pretty much just a boosted Foxy. Cause like you take away Hook and you get Mystery Box too. It's the first character to get that. Uh, so Jump Scare and uh Hot Cheese Two are really good, especially Jump Scare. I don't recommend using it in the late game, but it's everybody's different. Uh, Golden Freddy's not that great. It, it has Jump Scare, but its only damaging move is Rainy Day 2, which there are a lot better characters to use Rainy Day 2 with, so there's not really a point in using Rainy Day 2. So, plus it also has Haunting, which does not work on bosses, so it's better against multiple enemies, not really good against bosses, so that's why it's kind of lower. All right, next up, we've got the Paper Pals, which are in a bit of a weird spot because depending on where you get them, they can be better or worse. Because since there's the Auto Mimic chip, if you get them before Auto Mimic, then they would be a, like a good character to use. But if you get them after you get the Auto Mimic chip, then they're not that great. I'm going to put them in B tier just because like, like with Wither Chica and the puppet prize ball two is good. It's just that with these guys specifically, it depends where you unlock them. All right. Now we are on to the nightmare animatronics nightmare. Freddy, in my opinion, it's the worst of the night. Actually, I, I'm going to put it in D tier. Uh, for multiple reasons. Uh, no, I'm gonna put him in B. Uh, Bite 2 is obviously good, especially, you know, mid-mid-game, which is where you unlock Nightmare Freddy. Um, but honestly, like, Freddles being a chip, where you can get Freddle Fu Freddles Fury or whatever it's called, being made, uh, and if you have a chip, like Freddle Fury, but it's also your main attack, Freddles for Nightmare Freddy, it's kind of a cross negative because you don't really need to use it uh nightmare bonnie so yeah nightmare freddy pretty solid not that great nightmare bonnie's a tier uh it has all two attacks bite two rainy day two and pizza wheel two so it's not super phenomenal but it's not you know so it's not like god tier like withered bon uh withered yeah withered bonnie but it's not awful like these guys down here all right, next up we got Withered Chica. Honestly, it's it it uh B tier. Uh, Bad Pizza is a good attack, and Bite Two's decent. Uh, Water Hose is also good. It's just that I don't think it's on the same level as Nightmare Bonnie. Now, the next character, Withered Foxy. You know what? I think Withered Foxy's better than Withered Bonnie. Honestly, you know what? I think Withered Foxy's better than Withered Bonnie. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, for multiple reasons. Uh, it has Unscrew 2, which is really good. But it also, like with Nightmare Bonnie, it also has uh, a lot of the 2 attacks, which is very good. Bite 2 and Hot Cheese 2. So if you're not trying to, if you want to bring Nightmare Foxy to a boss fight, that could be useful. It's just, 
unscrew to it carries nightmare foxy so good it's just such a good attack all right we got the two endos and honestly i'm gonna be ranking them the same since they're essentially the same character and honestly this might be a bit of a different ranking endo o2 is c tier and no one's b tier because the problem with endo is that two of its moves endo o2 Two of its moves, Speed Song and Neon Wall, are both chips. The problem with both of these guys, actually, is that... The problem with both of them is that two of their moves can be used as chips. But Endo O2, other moves, Neon Wall and Speed Song, they tend to be more useful than Defense and Strength. Because Neon Wall, you, you need to Neon Wall to either... Yeah, you need Neon Wall to beat the game or to make it a lot easier. And then with, so if you, plus with um, Endo 2, if you don't have the Endless Speed Chip, you can set speed up. But if you are using it, if you set up Endo Army, you literally can't do nothing with this guy. Like if you set up Endo Army and you have the Speed Song and you have the Neon Wall up, this guy literally can't do nothing for like a couple minutes. Endo 1, on the other hand, uh, if you set up Endo Army and you got the Neon Wall and the Speed Song, you can use Power Song or Armor Song to get a defense or an attack boost. So yeah, it's not bad. Flush Trap. I'm going to put him in C just because it, it kind of falls into the same category that these guys do. One of his attacks is very good. It's just that the other two kind of lack behind. Like, Bad Pizza is obviously a very good attack. It's just that Toxic Bite and Sludge do not make it any viable. So, like, I'm going to put it in low tier. Uh, Endo Plush is such a weird character, but I'm going to put him in B. Uh, Water Hose 2 is obviously a phenomenal move. Uh, it's, it's pretty much just, like, Unscrew 2, but it only works on uh, wild enemies, where Unscrew 2 can't... Uh, Unscrew 2 can work on bosses. So... Uh, pretty mid character. I beam is also decent. Uh, just like with Endo O2, if you set up Neon Wall, you don't like if you have the Auto Shield chip, you don't need Neon Wall. Um, but yeah, it, it's a pretty mid character. All right, we're getting into the more better characters, and Springtrap is. Ooh, I'm gonna put Springtrap in A tier, honestly, just because like it it it's fallen into the same category that some of these other ones have. Its main attack is good. It's just that its other ones don't really compare. Like you have Springlocks, which is an amazing move, but you can't really compare it to Bite 2 or Rainy Day. Like while it's good, I don't think it's like super phenomenal. Especially when we have an upcoming character that gets better Springlock. All right, next up we got our first gift boxer, uh, RXQ or Shadow Bonnie. Uh, a tier as well. Uh, gift box is always useful to have. Um, it's just that I think this is the worst of the four gift boxers you can get. Just because... Uh, and you know what? I'm going to put Crying Child up there too. Um, Crying Child, like, these two are good. It's just that their other moves don't do damage. So, I'm pretty sure Shadow Bonnie gets Haunting and Mimic Ball. And Crying Child gets Power Song and Armor Song. So once you set up gift boxes and you don't need them when they're, it's their turn again, you know, they're kind of redundant. But now we have an obvious one. Funtime Foxy goes to S tier. There, there, there's no contest. It is, Funtime Foxy might be the best character in this entire game. Well, almost the best character. But Cosmic Song is just such a good move. Gift boxes, Happy Jam 2. This is just an all-around good character. Uh, Nightmare Fredbear and Nightmare, I'm going to put them, Nightmare Fredbear and Nightmare, I'm going to put them both in A tier. Uh, you know what, Nightmare I'm going to put in S tier, honestly. Um, because they both have Toxic Bite 2 and Megabyte, which are decent moves. But honestly, Nightmare Fredbear having Freddles and Nightmare having Rainy Day 2 makes it a bit better, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. I think Nightmare is just a bit better. Just a bit. Uh, now we got... This is going to be a bit much. Honestly, Fredbear's not that great. <laughs> like, you know what? I'll put it in B. 
Megabyte's good. It's just that its other two moves, depending on where you are in the game, really suck. It has Regen Song and Mimic Ball, which if you run Auto Mimic, you don't need Mimic Ball. And then Regen Song, just like with Chica, sucks. It just sucks so bad. All right, and now we are going to end it with... Uh, we're going to end the final character of the normal game with an S tier. Spring Bonnie's just so good. Having uh, a mix of Spring Trap and Funtime Foxy, it's just such a good character. Such a good character. All right. Now we're on to the Halloween characters. Starting first. I know they're not in order, but and I don't know why there's two of them. Um... I don't know why there's two of every character, and then there's one of Scott. But I'm gonna start with Jack O'Bonny. Jack O'Bonny, you know what? Jack O'Bonny and Jack O'Chica are both S tier. Um, they're both really good. Jack O'Bomb is their main attack, but Jack O'Chica I think is slightly better because of Buzzsaw. No, uh, Jack O'Bonny has Jack O'Bomb, Slasher. I, I don't remember its third move. Uh, Jack O'Chica gets Haunting, Jack O'Bomb, and Buzzsaw. So they're they're on equal footing, but Jack Obama just being in just an amazing move. It's just so good. Uh Scott, you know, also going in S tier. Uh fourth wall and Mega Virus being amazing moves. Just all around good character. Uh Chipper, in my opinion, is probably the worst Halloween character. Buzzsaw is so good, but it has the same problem as Fredbear. Its main attack being amazing. But it's other two moves not being great. It has Mimic Ball, which we've talked about Mimic Ball. And then it has Hocus Pocus, which just transforms the enemies into weaker ones. So, like, it doesn't help against bosses. If it did, Chipper would be absolutely amazing. But, all right, now, but yeah, Chipper, B tier, not that great. And it's also one of the hardest characters to get, so it's not that worth it. And now we have the final gift boxer. Coffee is literally the best character. One of the best. Gift boxes and Mega Virus, but also Neon Wall 2. Like, that is, it's the only character to have it. And it's just like, it only lasts a couple of seconds, but those couple of seconds could save you in a run. All right, we got the final three characters. We've got Nightmare Balloon Boy, who I'm going to put in A tier. Um,. Bubble Breath and Balloons 2, good combination. I really wish they would have given it something other than Megabyte. Since, like, I don't think Megabyte works on, like, these powerful characters. I think it's just kind of a weird choice. All right, now we got Nightmarian, another S tier. Uh, fourth Wall is just such a good move, especially in the late game. Uh, Bubble Breath is also useful. Uh, its other move is Prize Ball 2, which obviously you're not going to use. I find it weird that they gave these two more normal moves like i get that like they gave them because based on their other counterparts but i wish they would have gotten like some cooler moves other than megabyte and prize ball too and for the final character we have purple guy he's gonna go in a tier um his move set is speed song slasher and hocus pocus so its main thing is slasher like you land it they're gonna die one in ten chance um but its other moves depending on what chips you're using with Speed Song and changing, you can't change bosses with Hocus Pocus. So, you know, it, it's not that it, Hocus Pocus is not that good of a move. All right. All right, guys. That was, that is every single FNAF World character ranked. Uh, the playable characters, anyway. I could add Lulbit, Dee Dee, or Mendo Endo, but I'm not going to because I don't have to. I'm my own boss. All right. So, uh, if you want me to do another tier list video, just. Tell me in the comments. I really enjoy doing this because I like to give my opinions and make some people mad if I can. Uh, keep in mind that these are ranked based on how good they are when you get them. Like, obviously, like, you can find, like, the Phantoms in, like, the late game. But based on how good they are against enemies in the late game. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, comment and subscribe to my channel. And like I just said, comment down below. Uh, but anyway, anyways, guys, if you liked this video, then like the video, comment down below if I should do any more of these, and subscribe to my channel for more FNAF content. I'm going to be trying to post a little bit more often this year. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.